part of that and it's not just you know oh stay hydrated it's your body is rebelling and trying to kill you so it's okay i i have illegal drugs that i'm considering that I'm I forgot I had this. That's good to know. Which? Oh. how to get you set up streaming on kick well i mean no one would know but i was just because a lot of people that are that had jumped over the kick when i was streaming on both What's up, everyone? It's your favorite neighborhood pirate wolf boy, Silver D Fang, saying, How's it going? So, we got shit to talk about. First of all, I finally got my rigging open with the help of my friend. We got new problems, but that's more complicated. But at least I have it. So maybe we'll see a 2D ish uh, new model soon. I'll set up a debut for that eventually. But hey, at least I can now look at it. Is it perfect? No. Do I think I got scammed? Yes. But that's besides the point. Uh, let's see. Uh, this week, it's going to be today. We're playing Party Animals. I'll, I'll talk about why it's not Omega Strikers. Or why it's not fully Omega Strikers. Uh, Tuesday, going to be streaming either Stray Gods with Fool, if he's up for it. 
or I don't know, maybe more Loop Hero, maybe we'll actually start a new story-based game. Uh, do, 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 do. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, work. Saturday, we'll do a stream. I don't know what yet. Sunday, we're go next Sunday, we're doing Anime Jeopardy uh, with the reigning champ, Elysium Trinity, and two new contestants. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what the next week will look like. Uh, I did update the schedule, so you can see that on Twitch. So, I guess I should bring up why no Omega Strikers. Well, a couple days ago, the company that owns and created Omega Strikers made a uh, video saying that they are no longer updating the game. It sadly is, they're not making enough money compared to how much it costs to, you know, put into it. Uh, it sucks, especially since it, you can definitely tell that they love it. Um, they are going to continue making games, and they're going to say, they say that they're going to continue making games in the Omega Striker universe, so hey, at least we don't lose the characters, and we'll see some other stuff. But the game itself, so they're going to keep, uh, they're going to keep, uh, it open, but there will be no new characters, no new abilities, no new maps. Uh, so... I don't have two minds. One, we could still play it, but it takes kind of away, like, the evolution of it. And on top of that, I think people are going to start, like, dropping it like flies, so it's going to be harder to get matches. So, right now we're going to play Party Animals, but I'm probably going to find another competitive game to play for Sundays. I don't know what yet, because... Uh, like I've said on many times, the reason I picked Omega Strikers was uh, Apex was too big. I don't like Valorant. I think Overwatch 2 shit the bed. CSGO just was never my bag, and I remember the early 2000s. So yeah, that's kind of where I am. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, and if you put League of Legends, uh, do I look like I have no social life and that I'm a depressed teenager? No, then mo then don't put that in my chat. But yeah, for today, animal part. I do love this game. It's just I don't know. I kind of want something a little bit more competitive. This is like the best part is when you can get a bunch of people in like voice chat because you can get some really goofy stuff but i also do like playing with randoms uh because sometimes you can get some really insane movements also right now this is kind of my chill game that i play when uh i just have an hour and i you know just want to chill out man there's our wolf image with our little flap ears. Okay, you know what? Let's it's Sunday. Let's start with some football. But yeah, how's your week been? I was gone for a couple of days. My weekend was terrible. Work was insane. It was a lot of toxic feelings, a lot of toxic people. I'm glad to be here streaming for you guys. You're a lot more uh, enjoyable. That's a sentence. The internet is more enjoyable and less toxic than my IRL job. That's sad. And I'm... I just realized that. But today, we are Bouncer Gorilla. Bouncer Ape. I guess we could also be Secret Service because it looks like we have an earpiece. Get down, Mr. President! Ooh, ooh. Get down, Mr. President! No, I'm sorry, Mr. President. I got you down. Mr. President, I'm down. And sleeping with the enemy. Okay, that was dumb. Go down, Mr. President! 
Okay, I deserve that one. I feel like I should actually try. Hip check. Get the hot dog duck. I got it, Mr. President. <laughs> I love it. Even if I missed, his teammate would have got him. Okay, this is bad, actually. Oh, shit, that was a good move. <laughs> Come with me, Mr. Monkey. Good try. Uh, dude, you scored on our own. Oh, no, he's red. Never mind. They made a good move. There was so much going on, I thought he was blue. Maybe I should try, but I'm having more fun just goofing around. Oh, that just seemed unneeded. Ooh, I feel like, see, I like when this happens sometimes because it makes it, it means that, like, I'm seen as, like, a problem. I like, you know what, it's, it feels nice to be noticed. Probably should have checked. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you guys can hear me. I heard that. Okay. Hug me! I just realized that I thought it was a sausage costume, but no, it's a punching bag costume. That's neat. I ran out of juice. Okay. So, see, and that's... I don't know, like... I don't think I'm the best player, but I think if I do try, like, I can do pretty well. And I got it, like, halfway through un un untouched. Gorillas sleep together. How is it there's like four bodies and I hit myself? Okay, that was a good headbutt. I got it out, Mr. President. Monkey down. Monkey down.
there we go. It's in. <laughs> if you can't get the ball, just get the guy holding the ball. <laughs> I don't think anyone actually noticed. <laughs> well, that was bad. I do love the gorilla face. I mean, that was just a clean shot. I can't even be upset about that. Yeah. Fuck! I got tripped up by the gator's dead body. You're a nuisance. Yeah, like you can see. I got, yeah, I got stuck on his dead body. <laughs> Okay, so he could be new, but uh, tip in games like this, don't go for the punch, go for the grab. Because if you miss that punch, you literally give him a freebie. Got it. Get off me, you dirty, stinking animals. I love the roll in this game. It's so cute. I think we're tied up. No, nope, they're ahead. Oh, shit. Okay. Tied up. Good. That was intense. I'm not going to lie. That punching, but one of those punching bag dogs are really good, man. Their movements are really nice. My job was done. I got it. I got the good player out, I think. <laughs> Get out of the way. What knocked me out? Where's... Oh, okay. I lost track of the ball. We win! Drive-by punch. That's a good comeback. Ooh, and Beast Football touchdown within 15 seconds. Nice. up hmm what else is new uh finish pluto i recommend it it's it's really good animation but it has an old school uh story style it well it, it's it, it's a tetsu it, it, it's a tetsuka you know story if you don't know he's he's seen as like the godfather of manga and anime he created Astro Boy. He created uh, Cyborg 009. Like, yeah. And actually, Astro Boy is in Pluto. He goes by his Japanese name, Adam. But yeah, it's, yeah. 
What are we playing? I think it's the uh, trains. Ooh, I like the cat. I like the uh, orange cat um, musketeer. Oh, no, it's this one. Oh, we're on a team. Neat. I like that. The French outlaw. Well, they're not really an outlaw. Okay, the two people with really cool hats. Hey, can I punch something? That'd be nice. Lights on. God damn it, I could not hit anything. Also, didn't notice a bomb. I'm helping! God damn it, man. Well, that sucked. I did nothing. Banana. Oh, hey, fish are back. For a bit, it was uh, pumpkins for the Halloween season. Yay, fish. Okay, need to do better. Going crazy. Oh, my God, man. Please. Thank you. I'm going to stay away from the bomb. Ah! ah. That hurt. Oh! Okay, never mind. I did good. That this duck wants wants me. Thank you. Oh, he took out his own teammate. That's funny. He also took me out, but he took his teammate out as well. That's why you don't get assessed, boys. Eh, he won. Hi. You're a problem. We took each other. We took each other out. We took each other out. There we go. Ah. Don't know why that was hard to say. I think my teammate's out. I know you're hiding there. No, oh, I thought someone was there.
That moose was angry. Oh, cool. We're all uh, one win apiece. And teammate knocked me out. Dude, I'm your team! I feel bad for this owl. Bye! Fuck! Suck it! You got cocky, duck! Fuck that duck, man. Hey, teammate. Uh, thank you. No, no, no dumbass. No dumbass. Oh my fucking god. Dude, blue has two and has been super dominant. He just looks at everyone else trying to get blue and he's like, oh, I wonder what the fuck's going on. Goodbye, racket. I got him with the bomb. Ooh, I think he stayed. I think, he, yeah, he's still in. Damn. I just love that I nailed him with the bomb. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Not good. I think yellow might get it just by default. God, why can't I hit anything? Fuck! Uh, I feel like I'm punching butterflies, man.
Is there only two? No, there's more. At first, I really like map, but the darkness just gives people a e cheap way of staying hidden. That owl stayed hidden for most of the game. I'm surprised I didn't get punched. Mm, what's new also? Oh, uh, I'm watching the Continental. Still haven't seen John Wick 4, but I've seen the first three. Uh... It doesn't really matter. It's a prequel of uh, Winston, the guy that runs the Continental in the modern time. Fuck! I should have voted. My bad. Uh, yeah, it's about him in the 70s and dealing with uh, his mentor, in air quotes, and his brother and, like, some high tower or high table shenanigans. It's fun. It's three episodes. Each episode is an hour and a half. It's, uh, yeah, it's really nice. I, I have seen two out of three. Uh, oh, you all see, like, the beginnings of the Bowery and, like, the homeless mafia. And you see a young Lauren Fishburne. Let's go spooky bet. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime, but I if you have it, I recommend watching it. Uh... Afterwards, I don't know what I'm going to watch, man. I have so much shows on back order. Amazon alone, I have like four. Disney, I have like ten. Netflix, I have seven. Crunchyroll, I have like another six. I like TV. Well, I, I, I like pop culture in general. going to barrage punch and nothing. You know what? Banana peel. What else is new? Ooh, that was a good hit. I think yellow got it. Yep. Not me bum bum. Okay. my grabbing okay I got one I feel a little bit better
Yeah, I didn't want to throw him out because I saw the gorilla waiting for me. I'm like, no, nah, I'd rather not be one on one in this position. And there goes me. Camera is so important on this map. <laughs> Banana. Haha, <laughs> banana. I'd rather red win the yellow, because the yellow's already got a one. There we go. Teammate, teammate! I mean, after the last round, I kind of deserved that. Oh, I saw Hachi go. I don't like how clingy the otter is to me. Every time I try to go wild, like, I don't want to hit my partner, man. <laughs> This map is too big for bombs. He's not out. Nice. This map, it's got to be filled with fish now. There goes my teammate. That happened. Yep. Okay, yellow needs to go. Oh my god! White fuck! God damn it, that was annoying! How's it going? Oh, dang, you just really came at me. Well, you're the one that came in with Daffodil. I have to respond. Daffodil? Oh, that's what I heard. Sacophodus! Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I heard Daffodil. I was like, okay, cool. I've heard weirder things to pop in a room with. Why do you have two Twitch channels? Uh, one is, uh... Personal and one is streaming. Respect. Well, the the main reason was uh, I I I've I had a Twitch account already and I didn't want to uh, like start my branding off of there, so I just started a new. It just made it was just easier to start a full new channel with new branding and everything. Out! Okay, I'm out too. How are you? Oh darn, you seem so nice. Thank you. I Was tried. Ever... What else joined? Yeah, hi Zyro. Quiet. 
I might have to leave because me and Zyra are currently fighting. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. That's a joke. Oh, okay. I've never met this person. I'll be honest. I. I. V I don't know who you are, Sonny. I, I haven't heard of VTuber like like bad blood, but I, look, I'd be surprised because every other community has bad blood. I don't you know, Sonny. You came to the wrong neighborhood, Mother Trucker. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad influence. I I, I just want to start a pit of like bikers and just throw knives at each other and be like, fight, fight, fight. I got a question for you. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, I guess I'll shut the fuck up. Do you guys know how to make video game characters or not? I do not. Like... What about you? Define make. Do you know how to make a 3D model for a video game character? Nope. Nah, I, I, I'm I'm so bad. I actually opened this stream telling my chat, yeah, I think I got swindled uh, with my 3D model I just bought. So I'm I sorry. Be, uh, I mean, I got something just wasn't it's my fault. Oh, uh, you do not want that bad blood. <laughs> uh, no, I got something. It just wasn't what I ordered, or what I finally yeah. ordered. Yeah, okay, thanks a whole lot. Uh, hey. Truthfully, if... Uh, now there is bad blood. <laughs> uh, if you go to the uh, EMV Tuber channel, I believe there is uh, a subcategory. For there, you left. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, that's what I said. They're, they said thanks a lot and then left. Oh, wow. Okay, so very petty. I'm yeah, sorry no I'm not good enough. <laughs> like... <laughs> who who goes into a stream channel and be like, "Hey, can you do this for me?" No, okay. Thanks a lot, Dad. <laughs> uh, but no, I believe Ian Vtuber actually has like a support like sub sub thing that he could go to. So, what are you up to right now? Just hanging out? Me? Yeah. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted to do. Uh, making small talk, being charming. <laughs> All right, you're a One Piece fan, right? I am. Good, good, good. That's the only reason we're talking. You, you know what? I'm down. That's enough. That's enough reason for me. Uh, I. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? Oh, gosh. If it helps, I am caught up with the anime, not the manga. Alright, then no spoilers from then. Shanks is gonna make a move. You're gonna make a what? I said Shanks is gonna make a move. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh my god, with that last episode showing off his Emperor Hockey? Yeah, I every every time... Every year, I'm always saying Shanks is going to make a move. <laughs> Everyone tells me to shut up. Shank has... I, I'm starting to find out Shank has a dedicated fan base. You're not the first person that I've heard bring up Shank at least once a year. Even though he won't be shown for like six years. He's going to make a move. Don't worry. I do love like... <laughs> I think Oda knows it too. Because in the episode before... Like, his whole crew was like, we should see Luffy. Yeah, we should see Luffy. He's on our level now. And he's like, nah. I'm like, Oda, you know. You know that we've been waiting for this and you're making us wait longer. It, uh, it was cool seeing the, ad the new Admiral for the first time. I, I did not expect giant tree. I expect the giant tree. I I don't know when I saw this, but like I remember seeing like very like old manga images of the character. I thought he was a demon 
from the black and white images. So I, I did not expect just like angry bum with tree powers. Are we all by the end of the day just angry bums with tree powers? <laughs> very deep, very deep. I'd rather be a icy bun bum with uh, a cool bike. He's a good guy. Actually, that's a character we need more of. We need more Akikiji. Sorry if I'm being quiet. I, I'm just trying to knock out a, a gorilla. It's almost okay. Well, that's almost, uh, that almost sounds good. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I kicked my partner. Get up. I'll save you. Ah, fuck. I fell. So, I haven't caught up with the manga, but a lot of manga people have... Don't let them not, spoil it for you. ...have not been able to shut up about the next arc, <laughs> so I'm looking excited for it. Oh my god! The next arc was fun because it was a surprise! Luckily, I don't know the details, I just know the name. <laughs> okay. But the name does give away a little bit. The name gives away what you're... I don't know, because for years we were... Expecting what the next arc would be. It, it's you know, really, so no. It's really weird to think that Wano was like a good three years. Well, don't worry. This arc will be a good six years. Uh, not if Oda has anything to say about it with his five-year plan. The five-year plan every five years. I know, I know, I know. I just, I love it. I love saying it too. I, I will say, at least with, like, the last couple of uh, episodes, it does feel like stuff is ramping really quicker than normal. So maybe five years, but I there's so much to, like, explain still. I don't know, man. We got the Revolutionary Army building up. We got Blackbeard Pirates being more powerful than ever. Now the fucking buggy thing being an Emperor... And then the Admiral stuff, and then, like, the new king, and, like, oh my god, there's so much to do in five years, I don't know if he could. And we haven't even touched on Gaimon. Oh, fuck, you're right. What the frick is Robocop? Uh, it's an 80s movie series. Yeah, but I'm still seeing the game. I mean, unless it's new, Ro there have been Robocop games. When does the new DLC for Mortal Kombat come out? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. It can't be that... F I would guess December, just because of how gaming works and, like, Christmas and stuff. I still haven't played. I want to. I, I like the Mortal Kombat games. I just haven't got around to it.
Let's be walrus chat. Die, blue dinosaur, die! should look. Bad cat. Are you playing? Uh, party animals. God, I wish I owned that game. It is so much fun. It's it's gang expensive. Uh, I forgot how much is it. I think it, I twenty bucks. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, <laughs> to me, what? Twenty bucks is is cheap for me. Looking at like. Mortal Kombat, which is like 80 and in games like that, I'm like, oh, I'll spend 20. Yeah, yeah, I don't even look at games like that. <laughs> they do not exist. Like that new Spider Man game? Oh, I've heard nothing but good things. But, uh, I'm on, I'm on a queue of 80th place for my library to rent it out. <laughs> 83 that, specifically. I mean, that is a cool system. I never thought about doing that with the library. Problem is, I also don't own a PlayStation 5. Uh, but no, the game looks good from what I've seen. I will say, $20 for this game is a steal. There's a lot of content and a lot of fun. I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, though. That is fair. <laughs> Those are 20 bucks that you could use on other things. <coughs> Like groceries. See, I thought you were going to say, like, something, like, dumb, but you actually gave a good answer. You know, like electricity and food and survival. I'm over here. It's like, yeah, I'll spend 20 bucks on a game where I play as a walrus. I'm in the water. I was about to say, I wasn't really sure what the other guy was doing. It's like, he's not your team. Why are you helping him? And then we all went in. Yeah. Goodbye. It just looks like Gang Beast to me. It, it's better controlled Gang Beast. It really is. It's a lot cleaner controls. It's a lot less, like... It doesn't feel like I, like need to hold three buttons to do like one thing. Also, it's just a lot cuter. Who doesn't want to be a cute little walrus? Or a black cat? Just leave it as you're drowning. I mean, I'm still cute when I'm drowning. Debatable. You go back in there. No, 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 no. Hi. Yeah, 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 you get in there. Hey, Aurora. Hi. Um, hopefully you don't mind me just vibing in here. Nah, that's literally what I set this up for. I'm just streaming, playing animal 
animal party party animals and anyone is uh anyone can just come in and talk and join and just chill man okay Alright, right, give me your hair. I want to be blonde. That sounds fun for a day. I want to go Super Saiyan. Ooh. Also, sorry, fool. I just saw that you messaged. But you can't hit your friend with a bat if you go to lunch. I, I'm going to guess that's a reference, but I can't think of it. At least not without legal- oh. Oh, okay. I, I get the joke. I mean, unless someone snitches, I you could hit someone with a bat. And not get, you know, in trouble. Snitches Just... get stitches. Yeah. Oh, I should have read the first part. <laughs> uh, 20 bucks is like going out with a friend for cheap lunch. But you can't hit your friend with a bat. Uh... If you're spending 20 bucks on your friend, uh, you can hit him with a bat. You're probably at like a Waffle House or Chili's where like you can do that shit. At a Waffle House, there are no rules. Except for the weather report. Which, still think is funny. Do you guys know about that? That uh, Waffle House actually has a tornado system that the U.S. government follows? Because it's that accurate? Yes. I'm going to go to Waffle House. Sorry, I really wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's all good. I've been streaming for a while. I, I know how to talk into the ether and get nothing back. All good. <laughs> I've been playing Armored Core for like non stop now. How is it? That is another game I've heard people just rave about. Yeah, it's really good. But I've never Difficult got into an Armored Core game, so I don't really know what it is. Yeah, the difficulty curve kind of spikes up the moment that you, um, the moment that you actually do something with it. What is the gameplay? It's essentially a... It's a third-person action shooter. Interesting. Also, hi, Sukafu in chat. <laughs> uh, prove me wrong scientifically. Fool, we've known each other for a long time. I know that that is... A debate I'm gonna lose eight out of ten times. I I like the debates where I can go off imagination and belief. I win those. Yeah, I deserve that. 
Okay, I didn't deserve that. Grab you. Good. I think we saved each other. Good monkey. Well, I'm out, monkey. Let's see. Uh... I mean, I also like a good IHOP omelet because I like IHOP pancakes. That's always a fun time. That's what church is for. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on that one, fool. Uh, one equal to. <laughs> you know what? I'm with. I'm with Sukafu. You're a shader. Also, what? I don't know what any of those are. I am dumb, Wolf. I forgot I was in this call. <laughs> oh, it's all good. I, I was enjoying. Chat Sukafu and voice Sukafu. Yes, we. Head pet, head pet, head pet. You know what, Silver? You can go on my will. Yay! Suck it, Grandma. Someone wants me. Nah, I love you, Grandma. Even though you'll never watch this, I love you. I'm watching, Sonny. <laughs> I want to make a dark joke. Uh, ah, fuck it. My grandma's in a hospital right now. <laughs> She's not watching anything. What, they don't got Wi-Fi in the hospital anymore? Uh... For a 93-year-old that doesn't, that barely understands the internet, no. Teacher. Pretty sure. I think they try to make sure that they don't think they. I, I'm pretty sure if I was a nurse in a hospital and a 93-year-old 93 93 woman was like, "Hey, can I have your Wi-Fi code?" I feel like I would lie, because you know that the next 10 minutes it's going to be, "How do you do this? How do you do this?" I'm like, "Fuck." Uh, as long as she has a TV with Young and the Restless, she's happy. Man, she did respect the Steez. I'm sad. I... Okay. <laughs> I don't think I heard a sneeze. Sneeze. Sneeze oh. is like oh, faking. The the, it's like you're faking how hard it is to oh. do something. Yeah, they how, call it sneeze. How dare she? Uh, can't confirm though. Mine is a coffin. I guess if I throw shade, I am indeed a shader. Mine is in a coffin. Can't confirm though. That seems unethical. I'm glad you're not a nurse. You and me both, fool. You and me both. I'd be a terrible nurse. I don't look good in most colors. Hey, Cross Coon. Oh, we got a new person. Hi, Cross. Yeah. yeah. I just realized uh -huh. something. That, why, why does that seal look a hell... Or, oh, wait a minute. Can I curse here? Uh, like, yes. light curse? Yes. I just wanted to ask first. No, I appreciate it, but uh, I'm, I'm like, already an hour in, so yeah, we're good. Well, well, why the hell does that seal look like fucking iced tea if he was a furry? Oh, are you talking about, <laughs> are you talking about my walrus? <laughs> yeah, the walrus. That's what I meant. Uh, because this game is cool. Hey, cool party. 
How in the living heck did you claim the handle, Martinez? <laughs> that is a good question. I feel like... There I assume all... Oh, sorry. No, it's all good, man. No, I have a really bad habit of interrupting people, so I'm I'm sorry. Oh, you're very sweet, but no, go ahead. Okay. But no, um... Damn it, now I forgot what I was going to say. How you managed to do this? I still can't remember what I was going to say. Fudge! Oh, 2009, that makes more sense. Yeah. It, even, you know what, even for 2009, I feel like getting the name Martinez is pretty As a Twitter impressive. handler. Yeah, oh. it's so impressive. There are some names that, like, you know, day one was gone. And that's what I call one chill do. Are y'all? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. But yeah, they joined Twitter before even um, Elon Musk. I. I would not be surprised if Elon Musk joined two months before he bought it. No, his Twitter's account is from uh, June 2009. Oh, damn. So, Mart um, what's it called? Crosscoon has a s Twitter account that's older than the founder of... Well, he's not the founder. He's the owner. The founder. <laughs> Our lord and savior. She respect the steez. All right. I said a bad word, banning from VC. Fool, you are my mod. You can ban yourself. Don't make me do it. <laughs> also, I do apologize for the cough thing. I've had a bit of a lingering cough since I went to San Antonio. We can barely hear it. Yeah, no, you're, you're honestly good, man. Uh... How was San Antonio? It was fun. It was fun. Uh, I met a musician while I was up there. The dude that sung the uh, song You Can't Hide. Yeah, You Can't Hide. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's song. Oh. Uh, more precisely, uh, Sister Location. <laughs> Is that a taser? Yes. I just saw a taser. Yeah, there's a taser. This game is fun. I, I recommend it. If, if you don't need 20 bucks for food, I recommend buying it. Buddy, look, I had 35 bucks that a friend of mine just sent me. I had just came back from the store. Oh. Excuse me. No, no. Th th <laughs> that's a reference from earlier. <laughs> I'm going to go to sleep now. It was good talking to you. Good night, Silver. Bye. Good night, everyone. Stay, fan Bye, Stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. You know, I like your vibe as well. Well, I always try to stay positive. Good. They seem cool. Oh, Sukafu. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. She she seemed like a sweetheart. We were just talking about One Piece and stuff. That's the one thing, like... Yes, I know One Piece is all done and wrapped up to my knowledge, but mm, not really. But I'd have I, like I don't have a commitment like that to watch a thousand episodes of an anime. Uh, we're at I think ten sixty eight, so I don't blame you. Uh, and also right now the uh, creator Oda. Uh, so the manga is still going on, but he has a five-year plan, so that's why people say that it's almost done. But, uh, he's been using the five-year plan for, like, 20 years. Yeah. Also, the other person just left. Uh, they were just chilling. They just needed okay. a, a spot to talk. I mean, it's, it's just a spot, you know, to be. Uh... But yeah, no, I... I love One Piece. I would never tell someone or try to convince someone to watch it. I got lucky and started watching it when it was on TV. Starting from one to now, 
Yeah, no, that, that's a commitment that I don't blame anyone not getting into. There's enough good content in the world where you can miss out on one. Just to give you an idea, I would rather sit down and commit myself to watching from beginning to end every single episode of The Walking Dead. Is that, <laughs> is that including spinoffs? I'm talking about like the base vanilla series. I know, but the base vanilla series I think is only at a, like 110 episodes. So yeah, I would <laughs> I would also do Walking Dead if it's 110 episodes compared to 1,060. But if you're talking the spinoffs as well, that's an extra like eight seasons. Yeah. Walking Dead is insane. I, I used to watch it, but I, I had to give up. I I gave uh, Saints and Sinners a chance, which was actually really good. Uh, it's a quest. It, it's basically a VR game for The Walking Dead. Is that the Daryl in Italy one? No, no. The the, the one that the that Daryl is in is Daryl Dixon. That's the one that he's in uh, France. Makes sense. Okay, so Saints and Sinners is the one with Negan and what's her name? No, Saints and Sinners is its own little stand by uh, standalone series. Oh, that takes okay. place in Louisiana. Like literally, none of the characters in that game are major characters. Oh, it's a game. Yeah, it's okay. a VR game. Oh, okay. There is so much Walking Dead content, it's hard to keep track. Oh, damn. I just literally watched everyone just, like, get dunked. Yeah, in this map, uh, every once in a while, a black hole will show up. If you're not holding on to something, you will be dragged to the middle and die. In a way, this kind of reminds me of a more 3D version of an old Xbox 360 arcade title called Small Arms. Oh, that is not what I was expecting. I thought you were going to bring up Gang Beast. Eh, Gang Beast, yeah, but still, I'm talking about, like, I mean, I haven't played... I know what Gang Beast is. I'm not one of those types that's been living under a rock. I know what Gang Beast is. Yeah, I could see why people would compare this to Gang Beasts, but... Eh, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, that makes more sense than mine. It has way better controls than Gang Beasts. Like, it doesn't feel like you need, like, an extra hand to actually do anything. Also, who doesn't want to be a cute little bunky or, or a Darth Vader uh, cat? Or whatever that abomination is that just passed me. I mean, fuck, your character, the monkey. Monkey. He looks more like the fucking monkey from, um, uh, from the movie Sing. Oh, shit. No, I see it. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, now you see it. Now you see it. Yeah, I'm Joel Egerton. I was also Elton John. Okay, so yeah, it literally is $20. Yep. I don't know why. I typed in po uh, party, and this is literally the order in the search, in the search bar on my Steam. You got party animals at the top for nineteen ninety nine. Then the jackpot, the Jackbox party pack ten for thirty four ninety nine. Pummel party, and then wait a minute, can they hear me talking on, like through the Discord call? I believe so. I believe so. Uh, but on second thought, I'm just gonna keep that last. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna keep that other one. Just yeah, I'm not just gonna. You know, I'm just gonna drop it right there. All good. Uh, I, can, I can kind of guess. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I hope. I hope you don't mind, but I. I sent you the name. So next time you get a chance, uh, just take a little gander at your uh, DMs. Oh, absolutely. That sounds fun. I will do that right after uh, this. Uh, this uh, match. See, I have a lot of respect for streamers. Um, I will admit I did kind of did a little stupid thing earlier. My ADHD decided to kick in and say, screw you, let's screw around a little bit. And, uh, 
Let's just say uh, that there were some people in here earlier, and I accidentally clicked because I got uh, nitro for a month, and one of the sounds I was trying to click something else to play, but instead it played that one Japanese VTuber saying the N word. Oh. Oh. In this channel. In this channel. Oh. I I feel I, I feel bad for I feel you. As someone I who, feel so fucking bad. As someone who also gets embarrassed when they make a mistake. Oh, uh, yeah. But I wouldn't feel too bad. It's not your fault. It was an accident. And anyone with a, a uh, but but the have... stupid thing is, my brain was like trying to play it off like I didn't do it. Oh. And I'm like, why did you say that, me? Why? Oh, you pa you embarrassed, panicked. I embarrassed. Yes. I have bad anxiety, and I get embarrassed very easily. <laughs> but just when you get the chance, look at that in your DM, and I, you, you'll understand why. Yeah, absolutely. If my partner wins, we win, and I'll be able to see it. Uh, let's see. Okay, but all episodes of Survivor versus One Piece. Fool, I've already done both of those. I've seen every season of Survivor and One Piece. Uh, my life is depressing. <laughs> Buddy, I just got through, like, I'm still trying to put my brain together after watching the shit that I just watched about two hours ago. Wait, do I finally watched The Amazing Digital Circus. I just heard about that. I don't know. I know nothing about it. I'll go ahead and tell you now. Yeah. Um... Oh, by the way, you started up again. I know, I know. But chat was complaining about you being louder than me, so I had to get it figured. I had to, you know, turn you I down a little. It. Oh, it's I all good. Actually... I already changed your volume. Hey. Shit. Here's a little, uh, here's a little, uh, 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 breaking moment right here. Sorry, chat, for my big mouth. <laughs> it's very hard to find somebody I can reasonably talk to. It's okay. It's not your big mouth. It, it, it was the volume of your big mouth. I just saw a fucking fish fly through the air and almost yeah. hit the bunny in the head. Yeah, you can, uh, when you're dead, you you can use your gold coins and buy fish, banana peels, bombs. Who throw a bomb? Uh, I, I don't have enough coins. Ah, oh, crap. How many coins does it take? Four? Four. Oh. And here you can see him slowly uh, coming into place. But now, what was I about to... Oh, yeah. When you watch the amazing digital circus, go into it with as little on your mind as possible. Do not do like I did with my ADHD-stricken mind and try to... Oh, that was awesome. Thank you. That was my fish. That was a... Perfect throw! I guess you could say you were up to some fishy business. Ha <laughs> ha! Punt. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> is that also yeah. a part of Nitro? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, had to. I'm sorry. I'm an opportunistic pun maker. All good. No. Don't do like I did, trying to analyze every single thing. Yeah. Also, if you want a fun, but yet stupidly simple game to play... Are you playing on PC? Yeah, mostly. Go, oh, right, shit. go on to Steam... Uh, hey, bud, do me a favor. What? Send me a uh, friend request again. I had another person who want, uh, who uh, was uh, trying to get my attention, but uh, I blocked them, and I accidentally deleted your uh, friend. That one I'll accept. But yeah, I'm trying to see where I you... Too. I'm trying to see where right. you sent... Um, I didn't know if you were talking to me or if yeah, you were yeah. talking to... Uh, Jericho. Oh, you I, were talking to me. Yeah, yeah, Jericho. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally ignored your friend because another person 
was like, hi, I'm 22 well, no, and I'm a streamer. Will you collab with me? I like, no, I'm good. But yeah, I accidentally deleted yours, so resend it and I'll accept it. I like you. You're a nice person. It. There we hey, go. Hey, I don't try to, and don't take this the wrong way. I try not to stream with a lot of people because right now I'm learning everything on a library hotspot. That's so fair. you can see why that's kind of a little awkward. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll be honest. I didn't collab with someone like that I didn't know personally for a for my first year. I mean, like, let me pull up because we're in a ring a ding a ding. Guess what? We're in a VTuber group, so I might as well. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, that's a weird taste. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a weird taste. Chocolate chip cookies with caramel and Mountain Dew. And not the worst thing I've heard. But no, that subtle aftertaste of burgers I had earlier. Oh, that's not great. No, it isn't. Meat and, meat and sugar is not a great combo. For an after effect. So, um, by the way, I didn't. I did not calibrate. see your message. Where did you send the info? In your DMs. In my DMs. Oh, here you are. Ha! You I don't know, understand why I didn't say that out loud. Uh, yeah, very fair. Yeah, cause that is a uh. Well, you know. Yes, I know. I haven't played it, but yes, I know. No, no, no. Poor decorations. Get off, Tiger Rocky. I didn't realize that was a thing. Here, you can have this. Hey, pal, parting gift. Uh, if. I won't be able to oh, see no, it I mean, for a bit. <laughs> and I like long to game so that I can play with other people. <laughs> Sorry, say again. You kind of, uh, you kind of uh, went all uh, broken and stuff. I can barely hear you. You're coming in and out, bud. If you're talking, I can't hear you. Also, my partner might be dead. Yeah, my partner's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead, cat. No, 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 wild punches. Yeah, I got the bunny. I got myself as well. Freeze. Okay, good. I accomplished. Okay, who's still here? We got a walrus and a bunny. I mean, a cat. We're going really banana heavy. Yay, we got one. We got one! Ooh. We all got baited with the fish. Look at all those fish! That's a lot of Miss Froze. Hello, everybody. Hi! God, that cat is dodging fish. Hey, Sile. Or is it... Yeah, how no, do you pronounce it? Uh, no, it's Sile. No worries. Oh, oh, no, they left. 
Damn. He he was having mic issues. Ah, uh, that's fair. No, 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 no. Okay, good, good, good. Roll. How are you doing today? I am doing very silly. Yay! So you're drinking? No. Oh, okay. You're just a charming Sadly. person. Yes. Yippee, I'm charming. I'm in no way actually committing war crimes as we speak right now. Hello, welcome back. Jericho. Yeah. So what y'all doing? Uh, I'm playing party animals and, I, and I'm pretty much, uh... I don't know, I kind of just started this little stream room as like, hey, if you just want to talk, talk. Because, uh, I'm, I am streaming right now, but Party Animals is kind of one of those games where I can half pay attention and half talk to people, and I like talking to people. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, hear Jericho. You. Welcome back. Also, you know what's fucking hilarious? Mm -hmm. Uh, is that one that messaged you say, uh, go by, I'm my wolf, LOL, YT? Uh, Damn. possibly. It says, hello, are you still searching for another VTuber to game with? Because I'd be up to game sometime. I'm 22 years old. I believe I so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making sure them. Yeah. I said oh. I'm debuted, so I'm going to be major sus if someone ever sent me that. Uh, it just like, happened to me. Like, bruh. People have been Not targeting that. a lot of us. Dude, earlier this stream, I opened up with, yeah, so I bought a uh, 2D model, and uh, it, it's not anything what I thought it would be. Uh, the work it was very uh, lazily and not really well in depth, and that person was one of the, like, 40 artists that's, like, just messaged me being like, hey, I'm an artist. Do you want a model? Most of the time, I'm like, no. I gave her a chance, and... Yeah, that was a bad chance. That's fair. Dude, just do like oh. I did. Like, look, hang on. Damn you. Come on. But with that being said, one of the other artists I have worked with for like a good while, I also messaged me that way and I love her work. Shout out, Victoria. I love you. Thank you for the banner art. I think I'm also depend on the person. Yeah. Whether Cringe or Pog Jam. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah. I think that I think it works. Wait a minute. Can y'all hear me? Yep. Yeah. Hey, can you see me? Well, you're probably busy uh, still playing. No, so un unless you're John Spina, yes, we can see you. Unless you're a uh, dog wearing a like bandit outfit, no, I don't see you. I'm showing off my uh, 3D model that I made. Ooh, I'll have. You look like male Makima. I'll have to see that later. Yeah, oh my Jesus Christ! <laughs> I look like who? Look at fucking Makama. Tiger down, tiger Jesus. down. Uh, I, oh. I'd, I'd, I'd be showing my model right now for the fact that I'm not on my own PC right now. That is fair. Oh, oh my God! You almost made me spit Mountain Dew everywhere. I would show my oh. model too. If I no, actually I do have one, but it's not as good as I wanted it to. But for the memes, if I had one. I, I mean, I'm still going to use it because it's like, it's better than nothing. But it, it's just, it's more like a glorified PNG model than it is a 2D model. But it still does have my updated art. So, you know what? I'm I still going to use it. Isn't that just live 2D? Well, what I mean is... They forgot to rig a mouth opening, and they also forgot to rig eyes and most head movement, so all it can really move is, like, arms and ears. So, yep. it's it's a little bit of a better PNG model. Well, that feels shitty. I got knocked out by a foot. Yeah, take that cat. Okay, fine. We'll take him together. 
Oh no! Cat punch back. Cat on cat violence. Don't call it a callback or a knockback or whatever it's called. Come back, that's the word. And we dead. Going wild! Punches everywhere! Call me Floyd Mayweather! Oh shit! That was a good bomb throw. That bunny. I figure I just knocked myself out. Was thine gonna be caramel dancing? Dancing to the caramel, the caramel of the dancing. Yes. I, I don't know what that is reference to, so yes. Oh no, it's not a reference. I'm just being silly. Oh, nice. I'm just being a gooper. A goofin gooper gooper goobly goobin. I'm a goofy gooper. We all goofy goofers. Yes, the gooper doopy goobin. I'm oh. the goofiest of them goobers, you fucking goobs. Here. Oh. oh, you think you're a gooby goofer? I'm the goofiest gooba that ever gooba gooby gooby gooby. How dare you, Goober? I'll Goober me, you boobing Goober. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. How long are you gonna be doing this? Um, half an hour. I should be back in like ten minutes. Yeah. But real quick, if you want to take a gander at my uh. Model. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Uh, I can do that. The fuck is Kalissa doing? Oh, now? I like it. Yeah, you look like a male Makita. Or Makima. <laughs> you see, this is the casual wear. This, this, I, I have three different models that I have. That I've thrown together. See, this is the, the casual wear for my character Jericho. This is the actual model that I use for when I'm streaming. Oh no, he's a streamer. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, I hate those guys. Anyway, chat, how you sure. doing? Mm, yes, I would indeed let the anime boy bite me. Yeah. <laughs> would you Yum. let the anime boy or the the uh, wolf pirate? Because those are your options. That wolf mm. pirate boy is after the my booty. Oh my oh, god! Always. That's on my that's on my business card. I go for the booty. Well, that your background? I'm going to tell you now. There's one person that can out beat you on the booty, and that is a uh, Hosho Marine, the pirate uh. queen. Uh, I don't think but I've she seen is the that. booty. Yeah, you, she's literally the booty. Can you be the booty and also want the booty? That's a good question. Yes, it's it's called uh, duels. To be the booty or not to be the booty, that is the question. Chat, would you appreciate- Be the booty or not be the booty. Chat, that would you appreciate a stream where I just go hunting for booty? Are you That's actually streaming right now? Yeah. On God. It's all good. Uh, I, I'm not a PG streamer, so go nuts. Also, they don't- they can't see you. It's just voice. The boys. Heck, right now they can't even see me because uh, Fuji. Is John Cena? Because Fuji Active chose to uh, act up, and yes, I am John Cena. I was a dad in blockers. Come back here. Let me hit you with this lollipop. Yo. This game is fun. The words I can say in this game are great. 
<laughs> but can you say racial slurs? I mean, it's the internet, so yes. Yippee, I could be as problematic as I can be. I think that's the motto of the internet. Do you want to be oh, problematic? Okay. Here you go. Oh, someone just left. Uh, yeah, yeah, he said, yeah, he said he'll be back. He has okay. to go do something. I'm gonna see what the other guy's doing in working space. Yeah, it was good talking to you, bud. Bye, Sila. Never or... mind. Oh, okay. It's out. No worries. Never mind. I can't leave for some reason. League of Legends won't let me alt tab. Yeah, that sounds like something they would do. Not being good. I don't know. I know very little about League of Legends. Okay, let's play another round, chat. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go for a quick one. I don't feel like soccer, and we just did Winter is Coming. You know, I should have used that time to fix Fuji Active. If I was smarter, I would have. I'll have to do that next time. Okay, who should we be? Ooh, let's be Cowboy Cow. Let's see, we got Harry Potter Owl, Viking Otter, Ted's Black Cousin. Albino ape, a owl, and Hachi. For now we're poop. Punch! Can't. Nom 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 nom. Well, there I go. Mm, banana peel. Come on, Black Ted. Oh shit, that actually worked. Yay! Punk bear! Good job, punk bear! Moo! Got bounce off. Ugh. That wave, man. That that was a big bump. You guys can go. <laughs> he took himself with him. Yeah, it got boring over there real fucking quick. 
Well, I can both watch. Well, it's a workspace, so they're just working on their model, aren't they? No, I'm on a completely different server. I went to a completely different server. Oh, fair. Take that, Viking Otter. No, 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 no. Swim! Swim, cowboy cow! No! Poor cow cow. Wow, that was useless and a waste of three coins. There goes my banana peel. Gotta get red team. Die, red team! Moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo. Hang on a second. Yep, no problem. I didn't get to grab my controller. Where is he? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, fuck. I grabbed the banana hat. Oh, thank God. Red did not win. Damn it! Stupid fish. Uh, Hello. I hate it when he moves my stuff around. No, 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 no. Aww. Mm, cow down. Take that, Owl Potter. Unfortunate. You taunting bitch. <laughs> 
What is that owl planning to do with my dead body? Get off me, you owl! Also, that otter is touching the dog's boob a lot. I should save this. <laughs> uh, let's go beat up Birch. Ancient Dark Bite. Run! Take that! Oh, wow, okay, I definitely knocked you out, but you kept moving. There we go. Stay down. Nope, wrong ass. I grabbed the wrong ass. Don't you hate it when you grab the wrong ass? I know I do. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, I got fished. I knocked out like half the, uh, the room, so I'm not surprised that I got fished. I know, I just knocked out my teammate. Oh shit! He's weirdly. He was running still. Damn. Uh, I'll be honest, I thought he would be able to move faster. Garbage. Hello, partner. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck off. I 
That might be it. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, that cat has been holding on for a bit. Got the wolf. Yay, we got it. Oh, no, wolf is still there. Fuck. Ah, uh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, fuck. Okay, knocking out yellow. Yeah, fuck you. Gravity. It's a problem. If anything else, it feels like they're immortal. Oh, that was unfortunate. Who's left? Oh, no yellow. partner is really breaking down the bridge. <laughs> You're coming in a little garbled. <laughs> Can't really understand you. Very garbled and computery. Why did you protect blue? No! I'm sorry, say again? That is why I don't wish to collab with any just yet. Bad Wi Fi? Bad, bad Wi Fi. It's a hot spot from a, from a library. What do you expect? No, I understand. I appreciate that, like, we got a little bit of good, uh, audio for the beginning. I'll go and tell you now, I'll say some stuff that'll make people laugh or make people question my sanity. Then uh, again, before I before I was called Jericho Cross, I went by Insanity Brony 17. 
Huh? Yeah, well, that's a name. Yes, but I always tell people, look, call me insanity because I am insane. You plot me in a battle royale game and give me enough explosive. I typically love going the heavy weapons route. Uh, honestly, I probably do too. It's just fun. It's just fun to blow shit up. But then again, you want a good game to play. But then again, I don't know what people think about those games nowadays. But I'm talking about the old school Tom Clancy games from the early 2000s. Uh, which ones in particular? Are you, are you talking like Come Siege? On. What? Siege? No! Yeah, no. Early 2000s! Yeah, I, I meant to say Rainbow Six, and I said Siege by accident. I meant the original Rainbow oh. Six. <laughs> oh. Come on, keep thinking you're close. Uh, well, Tom, well, Splinter Cell, but that's not a co-op. Or, I mean, that's not a multiplayer. You can go. Uh, oh, no, I'm not talking um, about multiplayer. Oh, you're just talking Tom Clancy games? Splinter Cell. Yes. The best games right there. See, do you want to know something? Sure. I like things. Mm. In one of the missions in the very first Tom Clancy Splinter Cell games, just to show you how advanced these games were for their time, in one of the levels, there's a fish tank. And if you shoot toward the bottom of the tank, the water slowly drains out and down down to the point where you shot it at. That shows you those games were advanced for their time. Uh, yeah, for that time period, that was actually... Believe it or not, young Chad, that actually is impressive. <laughs> yeah, if you hear, if you hear, like, a Gen X or a an older millennial, like, talk about how good GoldenEye is, they're lying to themselves, because that game controlled, like, ass. It wasn't really until games like Splinter Cell or, uh, not, like, not old Call of Duty, but maybe, like, Modern Warfare or, like, System Shock that really showed, like, what FPS games could be. Let's take a journey further back. I'm not talking about, well, yeah, Splinter Cell was a good game for its time, but another good game was the uh, game called Prey. Yep. No, I'm not talking about the Xbox One title. I'm talking about the old original Xbox 360 title. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. I played Prey. Now that that was a good game for its time. Yeah, I, I I've seen it recently played, and it definitely has aged. But it's still like the basic core uh, controls still hold up. Yeah. It just doesn't look good. But there was this old game called Tom... Now, now tell me how advanced this is. Okay? There weren't very many games like... This. There was a Tom Clancy game. There was a top-down real-time strategy game called Tom Clancy's Total War. Oh, I don't know Just this. to give you an idea. Okay, so let me tell you something. Okay, so you know what RTS games are. Like yes. Man and Conquer and shit like that. Like Warhammer. Yeah, real, you know, like, yeah, real-time like, strategy. Yes, real-time strategy. That's what I mean. So, there was this game called Tom Clancy's Total War. I think that's what it was called. It was a Tom Clancy game. Just look up Tom Clancy RTS game. Okay? So, now you know how most games, they had, like, where you had to manually put in the prompts and everything. This game here was the only one, to my knowledge, of its kind. Do you know why? Why? Because if you had a wired headset, 
it would allow you to calibrate your voice to issue commands to your units in game to tell them to move to certain areas or to go to certain objectives. Oh, that's cool. That is the only game in my knowledge. Because you see, I was born in 1997. I've oh, been on this planet for over a quarter of a century. I mean, 26. I'll be honest, with your knowledge, I thought you were older than me, but you're actually younger. Well, still, you gotta give me credit where credit is due. No, no. Not like some of the rest of it is. Oh, you did your research. Like, I give, oh, no. This I is give credit. research. This is, this is here. This is from personal experience. Oh, okay. So you just had some older gen stuff. Okay, cool. I was brought up on the older gen consoles from Nintendo all the way up to current consoles. I've owned at least one of everything. Damn. At some point in time. But there was like tons and tons of games. But to this day, Ever since I have changed my name to Jericho Cross, there's only been one person who managed to nail who I am referencing to. Oh, it's a reference? Yes. The year was 2004. There was a game that was released by, I think, High Moon Studios for the Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, GameCube. It was a first-person shooter based around an outlaw by the name oh. of Jericho Cross. Are you talking about Gun? No, Dark Watch. Oh, what? yeah, never heard of that game. So, Dark Watch is basically a first-person shooter that had multiple endings. And you're playing as an outlaw by the name of Jericho Cross. And... Basically, it starts off like any ordinary traditional shooter. You rob a train, yada, yada, yada. Well, in this case, you rob a train, but it doesn't have gold. Instead, it has a evil, ancient force. A, a ancient, evil demon by the name of Lazarus, which is basically a vampire. So... When you blow the gate, you sit there and save the person that was there, but instead, you get bitten. So you slowly turn and officially turn into a vampire fledgling. You have to make choices throughout the game that will dictate whether if you're going to be good or if you're going to be evil. There's three endings. There's a good ending, bad ending, and a neutral. For 2004, that's impressive. Because, I mean, because every ending, one of those like endings is a lot of work and a lot of energy. Like, like I mean, it, it, it's a, it, and plus, for a game like that, hold on, let me let me really tell you the juicy bits. Mm -hmm. So, to my knowledge. There were very few games that had a hub that you go to to do different levels. In 2004, you yeah. mainly find those primarily platformer games like Crash yeah. Bandicoot and Super Mario and shit like that usually had some form of a hub. I was thinking Banjo and yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Banjo and Kazooie, Conquer Bat for a Day. Oh man, That's pretty much. Good one. Pretty oh, much. If, it, it, if it's a rare game, you probably have a hub. So this game, Dark Watch, actually, hang on, make sure I ain't talking too loud. Yep, I'm not talking too loud. Oh, you're fine. So, oh no, I'm outside. Oh. I'm at a RV camper parking, a RV park, and uh, everyone around me is an elder, and some people have to get up at like four in the morning. So I have to be very careful of how loud I talk. The reason why I'm outside is because I'm smoking a cigarette. Okay, that's fair. Continue. So, this game, Dark Watch, actually has a hub. 
it allows you to sit there, choose what level you're going out on. And, and I believe, if I'm correct, even allows you to choose what weapons you're taking. And by far one of my most favorite levels is, uh, I think the, the level is actually just genuinely called the Steampunk Coyote. It's a retrieval mission that basically allows you to go out and recover an experimental weapon slash vehicle. Yes, in a game such as this has a vehicle level, a couple of them really, and the vehicle controls are actually really good. I mean, it, it, it's one of those types of, uh, well, don't get me wrong, a lot of games had vehicle levels, like especially the Halo games. Mm -hmm. But, see, the difference is, not many, not, any, not many games had vehicle levels to where you had the choice of not only driving the vehicle, but operating the weapons while on the vehicle. Well, that's also technically not true because Halo did the same thing. Halo did it first. Also, no, I don't know. That was a wrong... I was going to say, Grand Theft Auto 3, couldn't you also drive and shoot at the same time? Yeah. You can actually drive and shoot at the same time in GTA 3, I believe. It's but, been so long since I played that game. I am what you would classify as a lore knight okay okay if i find a game interesting enough i will take a deep dive into that game to find out as much lore as possible for example in halo 2 do you know who the shift master is mm, no not off the top of my head he's the only white elite in the game huh Okay. Here's another little thing. Here's another little fun fact for you. Have you ever played Halo 1? Yes. Many okay. times. You know the... Do you know the yellow elite that you see throughout the game that you quote-unquote kill? Uh, yes. I believe so. That's actually... That's actually Artas. No, excuse me. That's not Artas. That's Fel Vada. And oh. let me explain. Let me explain here. Fel Vadam is his Sangheili name. Fel Vadam is actually known as the Arbiter. Do you remember right there at the end of the last level where you're going right before you do the Warthog run? that a lift drops and there's elite uh, a spec ops elite and a couple of other covenant troops yes well through that throughout the entirety of halo reach and halo one is an elite that is personally hunting the master chief so throughout the entirety of the first halo this elite is basically hunting the master chief he finally gets him but only to get blown up right at the last minute oh that's some fun slap slapstick he did all of this and like, finally he meets up dies yes He's very I know so much about Halo lore that okay I want you to ask me something okay. about the Halo universe uh... and I can tell you and our friend here that's with us can fact check me um how many Spartans have we met well, so far we've met about a few dozen more. Some of them are different generations of Spartans. But 
but through the entirety of the Halo lore, there's only been two Spartans that has received the title of Hyper Lethal. Because receiving that title of Hyper Lethal is basically... It's basically the most badass motherfucker there is. Yeah. I mean, hell, just like you got red team, I think you got blue team, then you got Osiris team. I mean, for a majority of the time uh, during the events of Halo Reach and Halo 1, most of the Spartans you see were children trained from a young age that was kidnapped but replaced by a double. Oh, I remember I remember those uh, those uh, Im uh, not images, but I remember the video. Yeah, that was uh, definitely a turning point for Halo in my eyes. That was some added like, info that really most changed. Most of the it. people most of the people yeah. that have basically have gone through the augments either didn't survive or crippled for life or even um what's the word or, or actually even survived there's a little fun fact for you before the spartans became spartan there was a um there was a little side project a yeah, a side project that went by a call sign, and believe it or not, Sergeant Johnson, Sergeant Avery Johnson. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. We all know who he is. You, we all know who he yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the. Oh, I know what the lady like. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to think here. What was the project that Sergeant Johnson was in? Uh, but basically what it was, it was a, uh, it was basically a uh, project that Sergeant Johnson took place in to augment him, to make him stronger and even resistant to actual um, like basically do you want to know how Sergeant Johnson managed to get off of Halo uh sure so Sergeant Johnson was a part of um, a project called Project Orion which is basically a highly classified it was the UNSC's first attempt at trying to uh, augment their soldiers. Well, the project was shut down eventually, but Sergeant Johnson was one of the few people that actually managed to stick through and was one of the successful ones. So if we recall, during the first Halo, we quote unquote see Sergeant Johnson getting taken by the flood. Well, that's not the case. See, with the augments that Sergeant Johnson had went through for the uh, for Project Orion. Um, by the way, if you're hearing kind of like weird audio, it's like I'm inside right now. That's um, okay. It's okay. It's not that bad. So Sergeant Johnson basically had went through the augments, and it was basically made to make it more difficult for biological things to incapacitate someone which we all know that the flood rely on a thing called a flood uh, a super cell and they primarily go for the spinal cord that was the main thing like if you've ever seen a combat form whether it be human or covenant you always see the head either push to the side or in Halo 3 if you pay attention because they actually introduce how 
the uh, the infection forms, which are the little squidly things, how they actually infect people. Okay? Yeah. So, basically, this thing latches onto the spinal column. It goes through the chest and gets onto the spinal column and basically injects the supercell that causes a rapid deterioration of the genetic code and rewrites the genetic code of that host to a point to where it causes a spontaneous mutation. In Halo 3, if you pay attention to how the humans get infected, you can see the the host sit there and twist their own neck, like forcefully like twist their own neck and break it. And that's why whenever you look at a combat form in any of the games, you kind of see their head either forced back or to the side and you see the combat form in the chest. So Sergeant Johnson basically managed to fight off a lot of these infection forms and combat forms. But the unique thing is when Master Chief made it back to Earth to Cairo Station, he saw Sergeant Johnson and he knew from the Master Chief's experience from seeing the horrors of what the flood did, he grabbed a magnum off of an officer's hip and put it right to Johnson's head and explained what he had saw and that there was no way that Sergeant Johnson survived all that. So they ran blood tests on him and yes, he was free of infection, but the the, the flood supercells what? still flowed in his blood. Okay. Therefore, giving him a somewhat regenerative per, uh, property, because his armor was very violently torn up. It had gash marks. It was in pieces. And in case you didn't know, all it takes is getting scraped, bit. Yes, the flood do bite. Well, yeah, no, that, um, that makes sense because they have to latch on to the spinal. So no, 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 no. You don't like. Literally, all it takes is a transfer of the infected blood. Oh, I thought they connected to the spine. No, there's multiple ways that somebody can get infected by the flood. It could either be from a infection form, from breathing in the spores of an infection form after you destroy it, uh, getting the fluid in you, or even infected blood, or even biting. Ooh. Because if you look, if you look at some of the comics, there's a lot of comics de uh, detailing this. Um, I recommend if you want, uh, there's like tons of people that you could go to and look at this. Hang on, I'm getting some water real quick and give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I was saying, uh, if you go on YouTube or anything like that, it can literally give you bountiful amount of information on all of this. Like, the Flood, they relied on several different forms. The Flood, they, they, they required several different forms of ways of infecting their hosts. Rather, if it's through the infection forms from a carrier or the spores, basically zombie rolls. If you get bit, 
There you go. If you get the blood on you and I open wound, you're done. Um, there was this one video that I had watched and it was back on the original Halo ring. And it was this Marine, he was sitting in his barracks and he was hearing all the wildlife and everything around him. The next thing you know, everything just goes dark, like quiet, dead quiet. Then finally, what sets it all off is the Marines that are around him, his fellow Marines, are all getting under attack. And within 10 minutes of him getting dressed and getting ready, there is like dead silence. Okay. And he goes out, he sees the Marines standing there, and he just feels uneasy because he just sees eyes looking back at him. And only come to find out that that's a Marine, a Marine that has gotten infected by the flood and his head is twisted around and up and behind, facing behind him. Oh, this God. flood basically swiped, a turn around and swiped him in the chest, knocking him back. And these Marines armor have been known to sit there and help survive, help them survive blasts from superheated plasma to a degree. Yeah. This thing managed to sit there and swipe right through that armor like it was a hot knife to butter. Impressive. I mean, he he felt like when he was there fixing to get back up and drew his magnum because an infection form was coming at him. He drew his magnum and mag dumped it, but he kept on feeling like a sensation in his chest that basically didn't feel right to him and come to find out his chest had been ripped open from the slash damn but that's not the worst of it the worst of it is when he decided uh, when he felt something moving in his chest he looked down this thing managed to swipe through his armor into his skin and basically started the process of him turning into an infection form oh my lord yeah that is impressive like the flood if we ever it's been practically that if the flood ever come to Earth, we will not survive. Oh, 100%. That was obvious from okay. from game one to every game. Well, no, regardless, we would not survive at all because the flood... See, there are several steps that the flood go through when it comes to uh, consuming. They get enough of biomass together... They form a proto-grave mine, which causes more coordinated strikes. And then eventually they have a full-fledged grave mine. Once that is done, set up and done, hell, once they get the proto-grave mine all set up, that's it. Game over. You're done. The only thing that seems to be the most effective way of dealing with a combat form or anything with the flood is fire. Ooh. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. But that that's basically it. Okay, but this actually you you gave me a lot of info to look into the Halo and honestly, as someone who likes Halo, thank you. Also, I'm going to look up Dark Watch because that seems interesting, but I got to go. All right. Good talking to you. Uh Jericho. Thank you. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Alright, bye. There's the most weird market. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot to answer I'm his just... question. Okay, hi Chad, it's just me and you. Okay, let's see who we can raid. And again, sorry for the Fuji act of annoyance. I'll figure that out next time. Uh, you know what? Hey, Zepti. I haven't I rated Zepti in a bit. Let's let's raid Zepti.
Okay, guys, I will see you on Tuesday with, uh, don't know yet, but maybe Stray Gods, maybe Loop Hero, who knows? But until then, enjoy your Monday. Peace. Over, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, the Raiders. My name is Zetli. I'm a New World slash variety streamer. I play New World at the moment. I'm doing some expeditions, trying to get the uh, rarest of rares. Uh, yeah, welcome in. Thanks for again for the raid, Silver. I was the rest of party animals. Oops. Oh, no, don't worry about it, Silver. Uh